Hussain uh, Shah Sarwardi, a politician from East Pakistan, became the Prime Minister of Pakistan on September 1956 and he served as the Prime Minister of Pakistan till October 1957. So the total period uh, for Saharwardi was uh, of 13 months from September 1956 to October 1957. You know that Saharwardi uh, became the Prime Minister in a very crucial time. Uh, before him, uh, his predecessor Chaudhry Muhammad Ali had resigned from uh, premiership in, uh, in August uh, 1956 at a, at a period or at a time when he had majority in the assembly and uh, that's a unique example in the political history of Pakistan when he had resigned and when uh, Saharwardi was to assume office he had uh, he had uh, he had in inherited so many challenges that we will discuss in this clip. Before coming to power, Skandar Mirza set certain conditions for uh, Saharwadi. The first condition was that there would not be any change in pro-Western policy. That is, uh, Saharwadi will keep pro-Western policy intact. He will not uh, try to deviate from the pro-Western pro policy. The second condition set for the Hussain Shah uh, Sarwadi was that the army as, in, as institution would be left intact. That is, the Prime Minister will not interfere in the affairs of army. And the third condition was that he would keep the left-leaning Maulana Bashani in control. Maulana Bashani was a politician from East Pakistan and was a member of uh, Awami League at that time. Later on in September 1957, he made his own party, National Awami Party. Uh, at that time, he was a member of Awami League. And uh, the condition, uh, one of the conditions that was set for the Hussain Shahi Sarwadi was that he would keep the left-leaning Maulana Bashani in control. Now, Hussain Shahi Sarwadi accepted these three conditions. Hence, he was called to make ministries in the center. The biggest challenge for Hussain Shahi Sarwadi was to make a coalition between Awami League and Republican. Now, these two political parties, one heading from East Pakistan, another from West Pakistan, and they were totally different in their taste. Awami League was a populist party. Uh, in which a majority of its members were from lower middle class and Republican was a party in which feudals were have a uh, feudals had a complete crypt on that party and they had no taste of uh, populist politician uh, politics thus uh, Hussain Shah Shah uh, Sarwardi became mouthpiece of West Pakistan establishment he uh, ran uh, immediately in difficulty, uh, di uh, difficulty uh, because of uh, the electorate controversy. Uh, he uh, ran into difficulty on joint electorate or separate electorate. The electorate controversy was that whether Pakistan should adopt a joint electorate or separate electorate. On 10th October 1956, Electorate Act 1956 was passed. And according to the Electorate Act 1956, in West Pakistan, separate electorates were suggested and in East Pakistan, joint electorate. Now, this law being, uh, being different in West Pakistan and some different, uh, different method in East Pakistan being a contradictory and retrogressive caused serious embarrassment to Saharwardi, particularly in East Pakistan. So he had to seek Skandar Mirza to persuade Republicans in West Pakistan in favor of joint electorate. Thus, Electorate Act was amended and joint electorate system was introduced in Pakistan. Although this, uh, this uh, issue was resolved for the time being, but uh, Saharawardi uh, had to be beholden to, uh, the, uh, to Mirza for his help. The next issue was the issue of one unit in West Pakistan. West Pakistan was uh, consolidated into one unit in 1955 and a uh, priority system was introduced. And the issue of one unit even uh, harmed Dr. Khan Sahab. Uh, he was threatened to move a motion of no confidence. 
Uh, however, Dr. Khan Saab was succeeded in uh, postponing the National Assembly session till March 1957. But on 20th March 1957, before the budget was passed, 30 members of the Republican Party crossed uh, to the opposition benches. On that, uh, President Mirza imposed President rule on advice of Chief Minister. Uh, constitutionally, uh, uh, the best solution was that uh, the, he should call uh, the leaders, uh, leader of Muslim League uh, to form the new ministry. However, he didn't uh, call a Muslim League to form ministry. Rather, he imposed um, president rule and uh, with, within some time, president used different methods to maneuver the members and um, turn the tables again. Although Hussain uh, Shah Sarwardi was able to control these two issues for time being, but these uh, events weakened Sarwardi and uh, he was to be beholden to the uh, President Skandar Mirza for his help. In East Pakistan, Sarwardi was facing a more serious problem. His own uh, party's left wing, led by Maulana Bashani, demanded for full autonomy. He demanded for full autonomy except defense, foreign affairs and currency. He was saying that the central government should have control on defense, foreign affairs and currency only and remaining all, all subjects should be transferred to the wings. And um, in July 1957, Bashani forms his own political party, National Awami Party and it appeared that he would launch a movement for uh, dissolution of one unit in West Pakistan and full autonomy in East Pakistan. Now, West Pakistan Assembly passed a resolution against one unit by 170 to 4 on 17 September 1957. Uh, in order to gain favor from President Mirza uh, Saharwardi, publicly denounced the demand of a dissolution for of one unit, and when he publicly denounced the uh, dissolution of one unit in West Pakistan, he pushed himself into a very difficult corner. On the one side, he was supporting the one unit and on the other side, he was supporting the movement against parity. So, he uh, now he was stuck in a very difficult uh, condition because he was uh, dealing uh, uh, contradictory issues at the same time. On the one side, he was opposing the dissolution of one unit in West Pakistan and on the other hand, he was supporting the movement against parity. Uh, in East Pakistan, politicians were uh, demanding to dissolve the parity system because by dissolving the parity system, they could gain more seats in National Assembly based on their population. Uh, at that moment, the Republicans in West Pakistan withdraw their support to Hussain Jai Sarwadi. When the Republicans withdraw their support in West Pakistan, Mirza demanded uh, resignation. Uh, since uh, now Hussain Shai Sarwadi had lost confidence of the assembly, and after uh, uh, after Republicans had withdrawn their support, uh, after uh, uh, requesting for the vote of confidence. Um, he, since uh, Hussain Shah uh, Saharwadi was scared of dismissal and vote of no confidence, so he resigned and his ministry came to an end within 13 months. Thank you for joining. Take care. Goodbye.